Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw from Math Plus Academy, and this week's math treat is perfect rulers. Here I have drawn a ruler six units long, and you could obviously measure things that were one, two, three, four, five, and six units long on this ruler. You would just line the object up on this end, see how far it goes. If it went to there, you'd say, oh, that's a five unit long thing that you want to measure. Great. Now, imagine a world where we have to make millions of these rulers and ink is in short supply. So we want to save ink by removing some of the marks. Well, clearly I could get rid of the zero and the six because those are sort of implied. I already know it's a six inch ruler. I don't need those. Save some ink. Could I get rid of another mark? Let's see. What if I get rid of the three? Save some ink there. Could I still measure things that were one, two, three, four, five, and six units long? Well, one and two, that would be easy. Four and five and six would be easy, but how do I measure something that's three units long now? Well, you could take that object, put it at the line one end up at the one and the other at the four, and you could still measure three units on this ruler. So, so far so good, I can still measure everything. Let me get rid of another one. Maybe I'll get rid of the five. Okay, now can I measure everything? Well, one and two, again, that's easy. Three, we can still do between one and four. Four, we can do from there. How do we do five? How do we measure something five units long? Hopefully you can see it. You line one end up over there, you go to here, and because this is a six inch ruler, or a six unit ruler, I can measure something that is five units long. So I can still do it. So, challenge is, what is the fewest number of marks required on this ruler so you can measure everything one, two, three, four, five, and six units long? That's your first challenge. Can you do it with two marks? Can you do it with one mark? I don't know. Then I want you to try the 36 inch ruler and see if you can figure out what are the fewest number of marks needed to measure something on that ruler that's one, two, three, all the way up through 36 units long. That's a really fun, challenging problem. You'll discover a lot of different things and it'll take a little bit of creativity and, and perseverance to figure that out. Now, to help you, I built a little tool because I thought this was a really fun problem. I built a tool online. I'll put a link here in the video as well as in the notes so you can go to that tool and it helps you kind of keep track of everything because when you get to the 36 inch ruler, it's very hard to keep track of what can I make, what can't I make, and that sort of thing. But I want you to try it without the tool, and then after you've played around a little bit, you can try the tool that I put in the link here. So, as always, I really hope you enjoy this math treat, and just have fun playing with math.